Before we get too far into this video, I just wanted to give a shout out to a few people. I actually interviewed three people, Vixen, King, and Bunny, to help me with this video. However, whenever I was like actually writing the script and editing the video, I realized that I didn't need as much input as I thought I would. Um, so they're still in it at points. I just wanted to give like an extra shout out to those three since they are not in it as as much as I imagined they would be. So Vix, Bunny, and King, thank you so much for you helping me with this and just like giving me your time. Okay, let's get into it. Hello, welcome back to my channel. So if you were on TikTok about two weeks ago, you might've seen TikToks talking about a Wonderland system or the inner world. And you might've thought, what the f is going on? Well, I'm here to tell you all about it to indoctrinate the undoctored, if you will. Today I'm going to be explaining the entire situation surrounding what happened with the Wonderland system, how it started, how it's going, and where do we go from here. Starting at the very beginning, who is the Wonderland system? The Wonderland system, aka Wonderland underscore underscore Wonderland underscore underscore, is a creator on TikTok with, at the time I wrote this, just under 100,000 followers. Just for reference, I don't know this person's birth name or like whatever the body's name is, so throughout this video I will be referring to them as Wonderland or the body or just them since they do use they them pronouns. So Wonderland's account was dedicated to sharing their experiences with DID and answering questions about the disorder. Now, Vocab Grayson, what is DID? I'm Vocab Grayson. There is no point to my existence. I just thought it'd be a fun little switch up if I sat in this corner instead of that one and read vocab. DID, aka Dissociative Identity Disorder, is a mental health condition in which an individual has two or more separate identities. These personalities control their behavior at different times, and each identity has its own personal history, traits, likes, and dislikes. So this account and its content wouldn't really be out of the ordinary if it weren't for one thing. This person was known for something before the Wonderland situation blew up on TikTok. You might recognize the video I'm about to play. It was a big meme on TikTok, I think at this point over a year ago. It was a bit of a well-known meme at this time. Hi, I'm Bunny. Hey, uh, I'm Z, what's up? Uh, um, hi, I'm Oliver. Hey everybody, I'm Ben. Hey, I'm Elegant. Wow! Sorry. <laughs> Hello there, I am Malachi, what's up? Hi, um, I'm Echo. Hi, my name is A-A-A-A-J. Hey everyone, I know I look like shit, but it's red. Hi. Hey everybody, my name's Sayori. Yo, I'm Beatrix, what's up? Hello everyone, my name is Ophelia. And yes, at this point you might have put the pieces together. This person is the Wonderland system. After that video blew up, Wonderland kind of faded from the internet because they were receiving severe backlash for this video, partially from people just like clowning on them for being cringy, and partially from people calling them out for allegedly faking having DID. And just so nobody is confused, I'm not saying that Wonderland does or does not have DID. It's not my place to diagnose them or fake claim them as I don't have DID and I'm not a doctor. Whenever I explain why people think they're faking it, or not, that isn't me making these claims. I'm just echoing the conversation around this person to fully detail what happened on TikTok and explain why this person is a bit of a controversial creator. What got people suspicious about Wonderland from that initial meme video is two main things. The fact that two alters were British, Ben and Ophelia, they have British accents, and the fact that two alters, Oliver and AJ, had severe stutters. Oh, and one of them had tics. Sorry, so three things. However, in regards regard to the accents, based on my research, that's really not all that uncommon. Having an alter with an accent shouldn't really be taken as a sign of someone faking having DID. Something that's a bit more interesting though is the alters with tics because tics are thought to be a neurological disorder, which is also typically inherited, but you can also develop tics through certain injuries or stimulants. Now, neurological disorders are disorder... <laughs> 
Now, neurological disorders are a nervous system disorder that affects the brain and neurons, which implies that the full body would need to have tics rather than just one or a select few alters. I haven't found like a concrete answer to this, but it seems like the general consensus is that the body would need to have tics, and some alters might just have them more or less severe than other alters, rather than one specific alter having tics since the body itself requires the neurology for the tics. However, something interesting that I found in my research is that it's possible for alters to behave in ways that mimic their understanding of of symptoms of certain disorders that they know about while not possessing the neurology for said disorder. And that doesn't necessarily mean that this person is faking tics or just like wanting them. It's not really that cut and dry. It's a bit of a complicated subject and DID is still not developing, I don't think, but it's being researched and new things are still being learned about it currently. So there are things that might not make sense to the general public. And what I do and what I encourage you to do is to keep in mind that DID forms as a child due to severe traumatic experiences. It is in a way a coping mechanism and coping mechanisms don't always make sense to people that aren't the one using the coping mechanism, you know? So anyway, back to Wonderland. As I said, they faded away from the limelight after that video blew up, but recently, a few months ago, they made their comeback to TikTok with the account Wonderland underscore underscore Wonderland underscore underscore. <laughs> that's a that's a little tongue teaser, tongue twister. What is that tongue twister? Sorry. And this account started to gain some traction when people started to realize that this person was the person from that meme video. But what really got the ball rolling is a few videos of theirs where they say things like they have Republican and more right-leaning alters, they have 274 alters, not even including the dormant ones. Uh, vocab Grayson, what's a dormant alter? Dormant alters are alters that stop being active in the inner world and cease fronting for long periods of time. Claiming they have inhuman alters, alters that are dating each other, and showing the map of their inner world, Vocab Grayson wants an inner world. An inner world, or internal world, is a place where an individual and or their alters can manifest as themselves and interact when they aren't fronting. This is when a lot of people outside of Wonderland's target audience started to take note of them and kind of go, hey oh huh? Because I don't mean for this to be offensive, I don't, I don't want it to come off that way, but to someone that is completely unfamiliar with DID, it can seem a bit outlandish to hear about this person with almost 300 people inside of them living on an island in their brain, right? So Wonderland started to face a lot of backlash and scrutiny from both singlets. Grayson. A singlet is someone that does not have DID and systems alike. Quite a few things that Wonderland said or did was suspicious to people in regards to whether or not they have DID. The amount of alters they have and how quickly they developed, the inconsistencies in some of their claims about their inner world, the way they were diagnosed, etc. There were a lot of things that were called into question about this person. But before we move on, I'd like to talk a little bit about the inner world. I fucked up. I made this entire bit um, about the inner world, about the island, about how I used my best capability to create this artistic representation of the Wonderland Island and the underground. And I didn't realize until just now that my mic it wasn't turned on. So there is no audio for this clip. I am trying not to cry because this was such a good clip. This was, I felt so good about this. Um, anyway, I was just making jokes talking about how, you know, this is how the Wonderland lore formed, um, which became a meme on TikTok. People started asking questions about, you know, the economy, if there was a Jesus Christ, how are there British altars, if none of the altars are allowed to enter or leave the island, you know, does that make them immigrants, are they on a work study? My question was, is there a homelessness crisis? Because there are 274 altars living on that island, but I know for a fact that there were not 274 names on that taped up computer paper on the wall in their video. Even though I did, you know, I missed some. I couldn't read everything. It was very hard to read. I fucking overanalyzed the shit out of that video, okay? 
there were still not 274 altars there. So is there a homelessness crisis? What's going on? You know, is there an economy? Is there a governing body? Are there, is, who's ruling right now? You know, there are, there are a lot of questions about, um, this whole thing. And I am just severely devastated that this fucking clip doesn't have audio. Um, I'm flabbergasted. I'm like so upset. That was a little bit of a joke, by the way, even though I am curious about some of those things, I understand that the inner world is not a perfect mirror of reality. Things don't necessarily have to make sense there. And inner worlds are a real thing, by the way. I actually learned that when I was doing both my research and talking to my helpers with DID. They're actually fairly common and they can range in size and complexity based on the individual system. Um, is there anything that the Wonderland system has said about DID that you felt to be inaccurate, contradictory, or misinformation? Um, specifically the inner world. The inner world does not, it's not like prepackaged with DID. Mm -hmm. It's like a skill that you acquire through like mm -hmm. meditation and stuff. Okay. So, so yeah. not everyone has one. Yeah. Not, it's not even required. Wow. Like, yeah. Okay. I like specific, I have one, but I don't go there. Like I only go there if I'm stressed out. Whoa. So then where are you otherwise? Um, like I'm just usually in the void. <laughs> okay. Like for me, um, if an altar is not fronting and like they go into the headspace, like it's usually just a void where everyone hangs out and just like does nothing. Yeah. But if someone looks inside the headspace, like they'll still see people doing stuff. Interesting. So it's like, we can't remember what we're doing in the headspace. Oh, whoa. Okay. Yeah. But that's just, that's just me personally. So someone like Wonderland who is a polyfragmented system, Vocab Grayson, what is a polyfragmented system? A polyfragmented system are systems that have over 100 system members. Sometimes they're also defined as systems with dozens of members or systems that have lots of subsystems. It would make sense that they have such a large and complex inner world since they are a large and complex system. So kind of steering in a bit of a different direction, let's talk about why people feel like Wonderland could be faking their DID. Firstly, how similar the speech patterns are between alters. On Wonderland's account, if you different alters take turns answering questions, the main ones being Danny, Nikki, Lana, and a few others like Dustin, Ethan, Connor, etc. Wonderland will try different hair and makeup to differentiate the alters, physical appearance, and some even have different voices. For example, Danny and Lana do not sound the same. However, their inflections, their speech patterns, and their mannerisms while they're speaking are all basically the same. Most videos start with something along the lines of, hi, so, um, yes, and then they'll get into answering the question that they were asked. And while they're detailing the answer to the question, they are always kind of talking with their hands a little bit. There's no real noticeable differences in alters other than the voice or the wig, which anyone can put on a wig and use a different voice without having DID. Another thing with the questions that made people call into question the validity of their diagnosis is that they like never say no to a question. Their account was dedicated to answering questions about their DID experiences and DID in general. And whenever someone would ask a question like, hey, can alters do this? Do you have alters like this? Is this this way in the inner world? They would always say yes. The only time they answered no was when they were asked if there was a system of oppression in the inner world, but then they also went back on that answer in a later video, so I don't know. Either way, them always saying yes to these questions is another thing that got people suspicious, because how? How is the answer always yes, you know? It led people to assume that they were just kind of making things up on the spot about their inner world, which whether that's true or not, I don't know, or whether or not I think that's true. Honestly, I don't know either. I think the consistencies between the mannerisms and the inconsistencies about some things they say about their inner world are a lot more damning than them saying yes to most things when people ask about their inner world because as I mentioned earlier, the inner world doesn't really need to make sense to everyone. It's just how that person functions. My eye itches. Ah, 
Anyways, the next reason that people think that Wonderland is faking is because of the story of their diagnosis. Before I get too deep, I need to clear up something that has been going around as a common misconception about the Wonderland system. No, they were not diagnosed by a doctor alter in their inner world. That is just not true. As they've said, even though there are doctor alters, they only have the medical knowledge that the body has. They were not diagnosed by an alter in their world. The true story of their diagnosis though has a lot of people not like weirded out, but I guess sus. <laughs> Wonderland claims that whenever they were in a mental health institution, one of the doctors came up to them and said, hey, it's obvious you have DID, let's go through the DSM-5 and get you diagnosed. That is one thing I will admit, I am very doubtful about this interaction. Again, I'm not trying to diagnose or to fake claim, just my opinion based off of my knowledge of DID and mental disorders as a whole. That just sounds like such a weird interaction. DID is not necessarily new, but there is a lot of things that are not known about it. And it's, you know, even still being researched to the point where there are even some doctors that still don't think it's real. There's limited knowledge on it and it's super rare. Out of 7.9 billion people on earth, only 1.5% of people have been diagnosed with DID. Now granted, that's still millions of people, but in retrospect, in comparison to like how many people on earth, it's a very small percentage. And it takes a long, long time to get diagnosed. At the shortest, it takes several months, but it usually takes several years to get diagnosed because you have to go through, you know, not just checking off your symptoms in the DSM-5, you have to go through tests, you have to go through physical and psychiatric exams, a bunch of stuff to make sure that what you have is DID. So for someone to look at Wonderland and go, it's obvious you have it, let's just get you diagnosed real quick, there's either a lot of details being left out or that was a shitty doctor. <laughs> the final thing I'll touch on as to why people think Wonderland is faking having DID is because of how many alters they developed in such a short period of time. Wonderland went from having about 204 alters, sorry my bangs, I cut them yesterday, sorry. Wonderland went from having about 204 alters at the start of their account to 274 and at this point there's probably more than that that's kind of an outdated number they gained about 70 alters in the span of three to four months which is a lot especially considering alters usually form due to a stressful situation or a traumatic event however something to consider is that as i previously mentioned wonderland is a polyfragmented system and something unique to those systems is that they have complex splitting patterns meaning they can form new alters frequently and easily and they can even form multiple alters at once so i don't know if them even forming that many alters is really here nor there honestly especially considering the negative attention they've gotten during that time period. If they really are a polyfrag system, it doesn't seem outlandish for a lot of alters to develop if you're kind of under that like stress from social media. Not that it's healthy, but just an observation, I guess. Moving on in the timeline of events, after they started to get a lot of negative attention and backlash and also just turned into a joke by TikTok. They started to post less and less, they set their account to private, videos to followers only, and eventually they made a video where Ethan the altar was fronting and he basically said that the system doesn't care if you think that they're faking or not, uh, but they do think that the harassment they've been receiving is excessive and just disguised ableism, and the fact that people have been referring to their inner world as lore is disgusting, etc. And they have not posted since. So where exactly does that leave us? I think it's a mixed bag, honestly. People have the right to question things that they deem questionable, especially when it's other systems that are questioning it. But I also do agree that some things that people were making jokes of in regards to Wonderland was really just people making fun of common DID symptoms. And no, I'm not referring to the jokes of did the inner world have 9-11 or a Jesus Christ in the inner world? I don't see harm in those things where it's not really with ill intent and it's not even doubting the existence of the inner world or the system as a whole. But there were a lot of people that were just mocking and doubting the existence of inner worlds and things like inhuman altars, both of which are just 
common symptoms of DID. You can criticize Wonderland for their inconsistencies and at points their misrepresentation of DID without mocking the existence of DID and those that have it, you know? While I was doing my research, I actually found this article from the Rolling Stone about the situation, and in it there is this quote from Dr. Ina Konevsky, who says that TikTok is, quote, teeming with users who feel qualified to pass judgment on any psychological issue, and that given that it is ethically inappropriate for even qualified professionals to make diagnostic claims about people who they haven't met and examined, I find it very disturbing that so many TikTok users see fit to claim that they are definitely faking." End quote. And honestly, I think that's a pretty good way to end the conversation. Whether or not you think that Wonderland has DID or is faking isn't really for you or me to decide, but this person has expressed that they've had something very traumatic happen to them at a very young age and they do have mental health issues aside from DID. And on top of that, this whole situation has damaged the public's opinion of DID. I think this system damaged the public opinion a bit, especially looking at other people's TikToks about the system. It shouldn't be taken as reliable representation. I feel like they've further damaged the public opinion on DID because I feel like they're over-exaggerating certain aspects of it for TikTok and projecting a lot of common misconceptions and tropes within the community. Um, I feel like they damaged, um, like, what, like, neurotypical people see. Mm -hmm. Like, they see, they just see some crazy person with, like, a headspace and, like, crazy authors like Yama, who's a thousand years old, and, yeah. like, whatever, like, I feel like they come, need to come at it at a different approach, mm -hmm. and I feel like they need to come at it with a more scientific approach. Interesting. That makes sense, though, yeah. So, yeah, the lighthearted jokes were funny, but this was kind of a bit of a lose-lose situation for everyone involved, and I feel like it's best to just move on from it. So, yeah, that was this video about what happened with Wonderland. I hope that... Actually, I don't know what you hope. I always start my sentences like that. Um, I don't know. Take something away from this. This is more of just, like, an internet history type of video, so take what you will, take what you want, take what you need. Um, and I will see you soon for my next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, like the video. If you like the video, comment on the video. And if you like the video, subscribe to the video maker. And I will see you very soon. Maybe tomorrow? I might, uh, I don't want to say that. I don't want to jinx it. Okay, thank you for watching. I just realized my mic wasn't plugged in. <laughs> My mic wasn't plugged in, so this audio is going to be a little crusty. That's really fun. Bye. <laughs>